Hi guys, today we are going to be studying our new unit about verbs. And our topic for uh, this class is action, main, helping, and linking verbs. All three concepts you have already studied uh, in fifth grade. Uh, but right now we are going to review again uh, the main concepts and um, study some other details that you should know. So let's start. Action verbs. An action verb is a word that expresses action. It tells what the subject does. Um, verbs uh, express many of the actions uh, people perform every day. For example, let's see these two sentences here. Celia types faster than Manny. Manny writes better than Maria. Uh, type and write are two verbs that express the action that Celia or Manny, in these cases, uh, are doing. So these are action verbs. Most verbs express an action that is physical. But they can also be action verbs if they express mental action, for example, thinking. Uh, let's see the uh, sentence we have here. Manny thought about computers. He thought about computers. So he had a mental action. He was thinking about them. So thought, in this case, is an action verb. Now, main verbs and helping verbs. Sometimes a verb is made up by several words, not only one. For example, our class will report on the old west. Will report, here we have two verbs, okay? And this is called a verb phrase. The last word on this verb phrase is the main verb. It's called the main verb. In this case, is report. And the other words that are before that main verb are called helping verbs. In this case, the, wor the word will, okay? Some examples of common helping verbs, have, has, had, am, are, is, was, where, be, being, been, do, does, did, will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, and must, okay? Some verbs can be used both as main verbs and helping verbs. These verbs are main verbs if they are alone, they stand alone in the sentence, or if they come last in a verb phrase. Remember that the last word on a verb phrase is the main verb. So let's see some examples. Uh, let's use the verb had as a main verb. So we have Buffalo Bill had many skills as a scout. In this case, we only have the verb had, and it's standing alone there, so this is a main verb. Helping verb, uh, an example of the use of had as a helping verb, we could say Buffalo Bill had gained fame as a scout. In this case, we have had gained as a verb phrase where gained since it's the last word is the main verb and had here is working as a helping okay <clears throat> and last linking verbs some verbs alone do not express action such verbs are called linking verbs they link the subject to the predicate adjective or noun okay so for example, the map is a guide. The verb here is is, it's not expressing an action, it's just linking the subject, which is map, to guide, which is uh, a noun, okay? The directions seem clear. Seem is not expressing an action, however, it's a verb, so it's a linking verb. And it's being, uh, it's linking directions, which is a subject, to clear, which is an adjective. Common linking verbs are, for example, am, are, is, was, where, be, being, 
been, seen, feel, appear, become, smell, say, and taste. Also, a linking verb. Well, as I was saying before, uh, links the subject uh, to the predicate. This word in the predicate to which the subject is being linked uh, can be a predicate noun. The, this is a noun in the predicate or a predicate adjective, an adjective inside the predicate. A predicate noun renames or identifies the subject. A predicate adjective describes the subject. So let's see some examples. Predicate noun. Vera is a scout. The linking verb here is is, okay? And scout is a noun, okay? So Vera and scout, scout, they are linked by is, okay? We're saying that Vera is a scout. Predicate adjective, she seems brave. The linking verb here is seems, and brave is an adjective. So we're linking her to brave, or she in this case to brave, okay? We're describing her. Some verbs can either be um, action verbs or linking verbs, depending on how you use them. An example here with the verb sounded. Vera sounded nervous. In this case, sounded is not expressing an action. We're just saying how Vera sounded when we heard her. For example, uh, let's say that this woman here standing on the podium at the podium is uh, Vera. Vera, she's talking to the audience and she's nervous and she sounded nervous. Okay, her voice was, you know, nervous. So nervous in this case is an adjective. We're uh, linking Vera to this adjective. Uh, if we use it as an action verb, she sounded the alarm. This is expressing an action. We are saying that she went to the alarm and sounded. Sounded the alarm. Okay, she took action for the alarm to sound. So in this case, it's an action verb. Let's see some examples or exercises. Find the action verb in each sentence. Pay attention to this because this is um, these are type exercises like the one the ones you're going to find on your Google form or Homework. Manny's father brought home a package. Brought in this case is an action verb. He called. Manny downstairs called an action. So this is an action word. Manny dreamed about this day. It's a mental action. So he dreamed action word. He unwrapped his new computer. Unwrapped action action word. Then Manny read the instruction. Read in this case action word. Manny uses a computer for his network. Uses is an action. Action verb. The computer works faster than a typewriter. Works, action verb. It shows many sentences on the screen. Shows, action. So this is action verb. Manny finds his mistakes quickly. Finds, action verb. He corrects his errors immediately. Corrects, action verb. Now, uh, let's find the verb phrase, and after we find it, let's identify the main verb. Remember, it's the last word on this phrase, and the helping verb or verbs. Number 11, the class has started small group project. Has started is the verb phrase. The last word is started, so this is the main verb, and has is the helping verb. We have one in this case. Two groups have chosen the old ways. Have chosen is the verb phrase. The last word here, chosen, is the main verb, and the rest are, or in this case, is uh, the helping verb. Have. One group will give a report about book or bill. Will give is the verb phrase, give the main verb, will the helping verb. Another group might discuss while Bill hiccups. 
might discuss, might discuss is the verb phrase, discuss the main verb, might the helping verb. The groups will be reading books about the about the web. We'll be reading is the uh, verb phrase. The last word reading is the main verb, and the other two words are helping verbs. Boholbill was named William Frederick Cody. Was named verb phrase name main verb was helping verb. He must have been born before the Civil War. Must have been born, and here we have, look, a lot of words, okay? This is a verb phrase. Born is the main verb. Must have been are all helping verbs in this sentence. He had earned his nickname by age 31. Had earned, verb phrase, earned, main verb, had. Helping verb. He was performing great deeds by that time. Was performing is the verb phrase, performing the main verb, and was the helping verb. He must have served as a scout in the Indian Wars. Must have served is the verb phrase, served the main verb, must have the helping verb. Now identify the verbs and label them action verb or linking verb, and then indicate any predicate noun or predicate. This should be adjective. Okay, so let's continue. Vera and Nan became happy. So became is the verb of the sentence, and since it's not, uh, it doesn't express any action. This is a linking verb. Okay, and the um, word that we have here as predicate happy is an adjective. Okay, we are saying, we are describing how Vera and Nan became. So it's a predicate adjective. They found an old map. Found is a verb, and this is a, an action verb. Okay, the map looked genuine. So looked is a linking verb in this case, and this is an adjective, so predicate adjective. The paper felt heavy. Felt is a linking verb, and heavy is an adjective, so we have predicate adjective. The writing appeared faint. Appeared is the verb, it's a linking verb, and here faint is an adjective, so predicate adjective. The directions Seemed familiar. Seemed is a verb, it's a linking verb, and familiar in this case is also an adjective. The girls followed a trail into the woods. Followed is the verb, and in this case it's expressed in an action, so it's an action verb. The treasure was three marbles in a squirrel hole. Was is the verb, it's still a linking verb because it does not express an action, and here we have marbles, which is a noun, so this is a predicate noun, okay? By the way, here you have a squirrel, for those of you who don't know what a squirrel is, and these are marbles, and th what this sentence says is three marbles worth of treasure inside a squirrel hole. This is a squirrel hole, okay? 29, various teacher assigned a book report. Signed is the verb, and in this case, it's an action verb. Treasure Island was Vera's, cho Vera's choice. Was is a Lincoln verb. Vera's choice is a noun, so this is a break of noun. She remembered is the verb, the story from the movie. Remembered is a mental action, so this is an action verb. The young hero's name is Jim. Is is the verb, it's a Lincoln verb since uh, it doesn't express any action. And Jim is naming, okay, the young hero. So this is a predicate noun too, okay? So remember, an action verb is a word that expresses action and it tells you what the subject does. A verb phrase is, okay, is uh, conformed or consists of a main verb and helping verb. A helping verb helps the main verb to show an action or make a statement 
A linking verb is a verb that links the subject of a sentence to a noun or adjective in the predicate. A predicate noun follows the linking verb and renames or identifies the subject. A predicate adjective follows the linking verb and describes the subject. Okay, so now you're ready to go to your Google Forms uh, following this link. This link will be posted in Academia's wall. Uh, or you can download this presentation and click on the link. Just like this, you can click on the link and a window will open that will show you this, which is our uh, homework. You should be very careful with your spelling and how you write the words. Remember, do not capitalize any word if it's not needed. You will only need to write the words in lowercase and being very, very careful with the spelling because if the spelling is wrong, the question will be uh, marked as incorrect. Okay? So please, uh, this is due uh, Friday. So now you're ready to go there and complete your homework. Thank you very much for watching and see you next class.